Prayer to Allah seems like a conversation with a person. But how do you speak to a person who has no human form? To help me understand, Ahmed has arranged a meeting with the mosque's spiritual leader, Imam Alamir Mahfouz. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Welcome. In the Christian religion, God is so manifested. But there is no such thing in Islam. So who am I talking to? Do I envision anything? في في المسيحية مثلا هناك تجسيد وتقسيم للإله كل ما خطر ببالك فالله بخلاف ذلك You cannot imagine God um, God is beyond imagination whatever you would imagine with our human minds God would be different from it One of the most parting and beautiful sounds in the world is the Muslim call to prayer. What was the origin of that? Uh, it is said that uh, one of Muhammad's companions had a vision uh, while uh, he was asleep where he heard this uh, call for prayer and then when he woke up he went to Muhammad and told him about it and he's made it into this ritual of using it to call for prayers every day, uh, five times every day. The Muslim, how is he chosen? Do you hold auditions? هل بتعمل اختبارات للمؤذنين؟ تمام يعقد اختبار للمؤذنين والاحسن صوتا هو الاولى بالاذان. There are auditions where they would listen to people and the one who has the best voice would be given the position. Allah Akbar. أباسا هل بيعمل اختبار؟ الهاء لم تنطق. Yeah, I have to work on that. I have to work on that, okay. <laughs> I get it. Mosques are designed to be filled with beautiful sounds and images that delight the senses. From elaborate architecture to verses of the Quran written in the finest calligraphy. Many Muslims see this beauty as a manifestation of God himself. Islam sees God in all things that are beautiful. Because God has no physical form, He can be experienced anywhere with any of the senses. But these experiences are only ever aspects of the divine. God is always more than we can imagine.